Hello, crafty friends. It's Lynn the Gift Diva. Welcome back to the channel. It's the second Friday of the month. So you know what that is. That is the Diamond Heart Collab, hosted by Poet Spice. Yay! <laughs> and I'm on with my offering for this month's October. Can y'all believe it's October? We have like, I don't know, 30, 30 minutes until Christmas, <laughs> which is nuts. So... Um, this month I used, I pulled out again the um, Delicate Diamond, back the Delicate, good grief, the Delicate Background Dots. Oh, but before I get into this, the Diamond Heart Collab is a collaboration hosted here on Poets YouTube at Poet Spice uh, and a bunch of really talented ladies and we get together once a month to share with you our makes with Diamond Press, uh, LDRS, or Heartfelt Creations. Um, dyes and products so now this month i used the delicate background dyes i love these and you know what's interesting about these is that i tried running them through my empress machine and they little bits didn't i mean it cut but it, the little bits didn't quite all cut out i just because I, I looked at this and i was like there's no way this runs through the marquee clean i put this in the marquee like butter all the little bits immediately fell out. All I had to do was tap the die against my trash can. Everything fell out. Absolutely fabulous. I love these dies. Love, love, love these dies. You'll see more of these dies. This is like a square panel. One looks like a little doily. And then one's like oval shaped. And I don't know if these are still available. If, um, I got mine from HSN. But they might have them on the Diamond Press website as well. So those. And they were not re they were reasonably priced. And this was maybe two craft days ago for on HSN, maybe two or three. Um, got that. This is a last year, I think. This is the Diamond Press Seasons Greetings. And it has like the greeting and then the shadow layer. I've never used this one. So I pulled it out and it has seven dies in it. And so I wanted to see how all of them cut. So I made seven products. Um, I also used... Um, this Simply Made Crafts um, flat paper treat bag die set by Anna Griffin and I just, uh, Anna Griffin, Helen Griffith and I just used the treat bag die. So let me show you what I made. Now I made these but I have no idea what I'm going to put in them. They came out really cute and so I'm like, oh, maybe I'll make three more and make an even set. I like to make even sets. So maybe I'll make an even set of 10 and put them in the craft fair. But if you have any suggestions about what to put in them, leave them in the comments below. Because <laughs> I have no idea. So the first one is this one. Isn't that pretty? This is an Echo Park paper that I had in my stash. And I just pulled out all my die cuts that I've gotten from Michaels or Anna Griffin or any die cuts I had for Christmas. I just pulled them out and played. And so here's that Believe die. Um, super pretty. And I just added in some, on some die cuts. And see, it's a good size bag. It's like, uh, let's measure it. It's five inches wide by six and a quarter when folded. So, and it's, you know, it's just, it's like a, you know, like a little, like one of those little, treat bags you know that you put cookies in at the bakery or whatever but it's a little bigger than that so I'm not sure what'll fit in here like I don't know if I should put a treat I was thinking about maybe a cocoa pack and a spoon maybe I don't know let me know what you think so this is the first one this is a little cabochon I just picked up from AliExpress and uh ribbons from AliExpress and then die cuts from Michaels so that's the first one this second one is an Anna Griffin paper uh that I recently picked up and these, are, this is the Merry Christmas die, uh, die cuts that uh, doily in the background. I didn't put one of, I didn't put one of those on this one. A doily on the background, the little bow at the top, super cute, super super cute. The next one is the Seasons Greeting die, and then I got smart by bag three and remembered that I had foam. <laughs> that I'd never use, the adhesive foam. And so I put the paper on the adhesive foam, cut out the foam. Don't really, doesn't really cut well with the foam on the diamond press. For me, maybe I'm doing something wrong. But anywho, 
Uh, so this is the season's greeting. Use some Monica flowers. I feel I feel like I can use them since I just made another Monica flower purchase. So, you know, because I'm a hoarder of these. Oh, I did not put any lotion on my hands. I am sorry, y'all, for the travesty. Um, then there's some die cuts on there. And then this pretty paper from Echo Park again. No, this is a photo play paper. This is a photo play paper. I've got like three paper stacks on my desk I'm trying to use up. So this is another Una Griffin. Pretty, pretty, pretty. I love that paper. Um, Pete, this is the Peace and Joy uh, die set. And then this is a new set I got uh, that I have not hauled with y'all. It's called Woodland something from the last HSN. Y'all know I'm a sucker for her stickers. So I just added a bunch of those. I thought that was just very pretty. And then that's a little cabochon I just got in the mail from AliExpress. The next one is a Echo Park paper um, with all the little, this is Hobby Lobby flowers. That's the Ho 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 die cut. And I added two doilies on the back of this one. I just love that doily die. Super duper cute. This one's my favorite. This is the Holly Jolly Christmas one. I just think that's so pretty. And then I used this pretty thing I found in my stash. It's I didn't see these this year at Hobby Lobby. Maybe they'll come out with them later, later, but this is a paper studio sticker set. I got them last year at the, on, on clearance. I love this. I'm going to go back, I think, tomorrow and see if they put them out. Because this is a really pretty. It's like a, it's a whole piece. Love it. And then these are new stickers I picked up also from HSN. These gold foil, foil stickers. I've got the oval. Can't really see it because I'm trying to do, I'm trying to practice my layering. I want to be like diva layering like you guys do. Um, so this is the oval um, from Diamond Press and then pretty paper. Isn't that pretty? I just, that's my favorite one, I think. And then the last one is Jingle Bells, which is also cute. Um, again, some Michael's die cuts. I did the square um, delicate background. And then this is again an Anna Griffin paper super pretty. So, so these are my entries this month for the Diamond Heart Collab, Diamond Darling Heart Collab. I'll have the right thing in the description box. Um, please go check out all the other ladies that are participating in this collab this month. I will leave them in the description box as well. If you have any questions, thoughts, concerns, please leave them down in the description, uh, in the comment section, and I will respond. I respond to all my comments. Uh, um, not as quickly as I normally do lately, but I do, I will acknowledge your, your comment in some way um, or answer any questions. Uh, if you're new here, welcome. Thank you for stopping by. Hopefully you like the content of this channel and decide to join our little crafty crew. If you're already a subscriber, you know how much I love you. So stay tuned. I have another project share video. I've got another craft. I've got a couple of craft fair items done, done, done. So I'll probably just do all three in one video and show because they're really quick and uh, show you those projects that I finished. Um, there's there's some sublimation, there's some paper craft, so a little bit of everything for everybody. So stay tuned for that video as soon as I get a chance to record that. Hopefully this afternoon I will do that. Um, so thank you again for watching. I hope you guys had a great week. Please have a fabulous weekend. Love you all. Be kind to each other. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.